What is up? What is up? My bad. <laughs> what is up, man? It's Arena Vincent here, live and direct. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you my results for my NFL 2015-2016 NFL wildcard weekend, man. Everybody knows the results if you're following the NFL. I know most people watch those games, man. So I'm going to give you my results and reactions to the games. You know what I mean? So there you go, man. As you know, Arena Vincent went. Let's go with the AFC games. Oh, no. Let's go. With, I'm going to mix it up. Let's go to AFC games. AFC game, the first game, man, um, Kansas City versus uh, Houston. Man, Arena Vincent, I picked Houston to win, man. You know what I mean? Wait, who'd you pick? Picked Houston, and, man, Houston got their ass beat down. They got their ass beat down by Kansas City. It was a close game to a point. Um, but the reason why Houston lost, man, is my reaction to the game. Houston lost because they didn't put the bum. They didn't put the bum Brandon Whedon in to the, at the start of the game. If they would have put the bum Brandon Whedon in at the start of the game, they would have got the victory, I think. Brandon Whedon won the last two games for him. And, you know, Brandon Whedon's a bum, man. DA Show, what's up, man? Again, catch the DA Show, man. CBS Sports Radio. Get beamed up to that motherfucking mothership, man. Catch the beam, DA Show. CBS Sports Radio from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. We're on the West Coast, man. It's a funny ass show. We got Mraz. He's stupid and funny. Uh, DA is funny as fuck. And you get beamed up to that mother shit, man. Check it out. DA show. I plugged them. <laughs> but anyway, there you go, man. But yeah, man. Brandon Weed and the bum should have started. And if he didn't do good, uh, then it should have been Brian Hoyer. And Hoyer came off an injury. And he, man, he was terrible. He was terrible, man. You know what I mean? I know he probably better than me. I'm playing football. But he was terrible that game. He was terrible when it mattered. And that's what cost him the game. I know uh, J.J. Watt was injured with a groin injury, but that motherfucker kept trying to get back in the game. So big ups to him. I give him props for that. Groin injuries are real painful. So, uh, But that's too bad. Maybe next year, man. So the Kansas City Chiefs advanced to the next round. Arena Vincent was wrong on that one. And let's go to the Sunday game, which is the Seattle Seahawks versus the Minnesota Vikings, man. I remember everyone was talking a bunch of trash. You know what I mean? They were talking a bunch of trash, and people were just saying, oh, man, Minnesota's going to win because it's real cold, and Seattle can't do nothing. It was a close game anyway. I picked Seattle to win because I don't like Minnesota. You know what I mean? Like I said, I only like Minnesota when Brett Favre played. You know what I mean? So, I agree with Packer fans. So, you know, I picked Minnesota, Minnesota to lose, and they lost. I know everybody said, oh, they're lucky because the kicker sucked. The kicker was laces in. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Well, you know, came true because the laces were in. They're supposed to be out. Uh, but no, nah, man, the kicker missed the kick, and that's just the way it goes. Did the Seahawks get lucky? In a way, yes. You know what I mean? But I ain't mad at them. Seahawks advance. Arena Vincent was right on that one. And the Seahawks advance. It was a crazy game. Adrian Peterson fumbled the ball got stripped. That's what happens, man. Even the great ones make mistakes. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, Arena Vincent got that one right. And then let's go to the game. Uh, the same game, Sunday night game. Green Bay Packers was the Washington Redskins, man. I was watching that game when the start, when uh, when the Packers got safety, man. I got a little upset, but he got relaxed, man, like Aaron Rodgers said. R-E-L-E-X. Relax. You know what I mean? Because the beginning of the game, you can make mistakes at the beginning of the game. And that's what the Green Bay Packers did, man. They made that mistake. They got a safety. It looked like... Uh, and then I think Washington kicked the field goal, 5-0. And it looked like Washington was, you know, kind of going to be running things. You know what I mean? But the Green Bay Packers stepped up. You know what I mean? So they stepped up and when they did what they supposed to do. And uh, they stepped up when it mattered. Like Aaron Rodgers said, they'll step up when it matters, relax. And uh, they got the job done. So big ups to the Green Bay Packers. Go Pack Go. I'm going to be a cheesehead for life. That's my number one team. So that's who I'm riding with. You know what I mean? And, uh. And so I'm glad they won. They ended up winning 35-18 or something like that. You know, they stepped up. I know Arizona is going to be a hard a hard challenge for them. But, you know, I'll make my picks in my pick show next video, all right? But anyway, man, congratulations. Green Bay Packers moving on. So Arena, Arena, got, Arena Vincent got those two games right. And remember, I got the Kansas City and Houston game wrong. So I'm two for, two for one right now. And let's go to Saturday night's game. AFC game. 
damn Pittsburgh Steelers versus the motherfucking Cincinnati Bengals. My Bengals are my number my number two team. I rooted for them. And you know what? At the end of the day, thanks Jeremy Hill for damn getting jacked like a punk. He got jacked like a punk. You know what I mean? I know he was upset at the end. And that's just the way it goes, man. See, that's a, that's a lesson to all those high school players. Anybody playing football, never give up in a game, man, especially a game that close. If you want defense, try to strip that ball. They're trying to run the ball, and that's what the Pittsburgh Steelers did. They stripped the ball, they made that jack move, and they jacked his ass. You know what I mean? Yeah, fuck you, homeboy. So, you know, more and more power to him. But, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, though, and then I hit, uh, you know, I moved him in the field goal position. It was 15 to 18. Or some shit, no, 15 to 16, or, no, what, what the score was? Oh, well, yeah, it was 17, no, 15 to 7 to 16, yeah. Yeah, they're supposed to go for two, yeah, 15 to 17, and all that. No, 15 to 16, my bag, my bag, shit, you know, all the time. And then, and then, uh, the homie, the homie knocked that fool Antonio Brown out the game like a punk. You know what I mean? Was it a dirty hit? You know, it depends. I guess in the new day standards, yeah. But back in the day, we used to buy videos of crazy hits like that. You know what I mean? Me growing up, you were NFL's hardest hits. And the Monday Night Football had the month, you know, every week they had the hardest hits, man. But you don't do that no more. You know what I mean? So a bit borderline dirty play, borderline whatever. But, you know, I'm a, I'm a Bengals fan, so whatever happens, you know what I mean? When you're out there on the field, it's war, man. And, uh, and you know, it's a battle, it's a fight. And, um... That was it, man, but bullshit, man. Fuck the referees, man, for helping out the Steelers, especially with that Jerry Porter bullshit call. Jerry Porter on the fucking field. You a coach, homie. Get off the fucking field, homie, before you get knocked the fuck out. You know what I mean? You know, yeah, I'm a little ranty and shit, but that's what I was saying, man. He got he got pushed a little bit by Pac-Man Jones, and a referee calls a flag on that? That's some bullshit, man. And that flag brought the field goal unit even closer. Instead of a 45-yarder to kick a 35-yarder, it was a chip shot, man. So fuck the referees for calling that bogus call. And that's what I mean by the referees helping them out. Jeremy Hill helped them out. He made a mistake, yeah. And that 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 kind of messed up hit at on, on Antonio Brown. He got a lesson learned, homie. He shouldn't be doing that, man. But hey, if you wanted to, you wanted to. But then that bogus bullshit call, because Jerry Porter got pushed a little bit or, or touched. Damn, what referee calls a flag on that shit. Man, that's some bullshit, man. And then, too, Boomer and Science said, and Bill Cowher, man, shut the hell up, man. Talking, oh, I'm very disappointed in my team. And Bill Cowher saying it's the coach's fault. It's not the coach's fault. The coaches had control of that game. You know what I mean? Marvin Lewis did a good job, Bill Cowher. You know what I mean? It ain't his fault that the player wanted to do some stupid move play at the end. You know what I mean? It's a player's choice. Bill Cowher, shut up. And Boomer Esiason, I know you're a Bengal, a Bengal legend. You made it to the Super Bowl with him. But, man, keep your mouth shut, too, man, talking all that trash. You know what I mean? I'm very disappointed, man. It's their fault they lost. You lost the Super Bowl, too, homie. So be quiet. You know what I mean? But, yeah, it's it both biased, man. It goes both ways. A referee caused that, too, at the end of the day. And that's that's the way I feel about it. But everybody got their opinion. That's why Boomer Esiason and Bill Cowher get paid for. But to me, man, Bill Cowher need to be quiet. And Boomer Esiason, man, just quiet, too. That's my rant, man. But I got that game wrong, too. So there's my results, man. I went two for two in the wild card weekend. Uh, get the NFC games I got right. AFC winning games I got wrong. But, hey, it's all good, man. This is Arena Vincent. I want to thank you for exploring the arena we call life. My NFL wild, uh, wild card weekend for the 2015-2016 season, man. Check out. Give me a like. Give me a share. And, as always, man, thank you for exploring the arena life with Arena Vincent.